Good morning guys from a sunny Beirut. So right here it is, here's the big one, here's the big day. We are supposed to be going to Syria right now and we have a driver picking us up uh, to go all the way to Syria, Damascus. Now, I wasn't too worried about it before. I mean, obviously I've heard the news and stuff, but I tend to not believe the media. We are just in a bit of a predicament here just from the locals and what they were saying in Lebanon, saying Damascus is fairly safe. So about 95% of the people said, do Damascus. However, we've got day trips to Homs and Aleppo, and almost all of them, bar one person, said, what the hell are you doing going to Aleppo? So I'm not just saying this to build up the vlog or build up the danger. We actually are in two minds. And sort of thinking is it worth the risk you know I'm like well what is the danger what is the crack and one went as far as saying like basically if you you could get kidnapped um, if you don't believe in their ways or religions and stuff you could be kidnapped like and I've seen so many travel vloggers in Aleppo right now thinking oh, it's all right so I don't know I don't know so what we're gonna do is just have a word with this driver and ask him like listen can you absolutely guarantee our safety you know, if not, then I'm just gonna do Damascus and then come back to Lebanon. That's how I'm feeling right now. That's how we're feeling. So, anyway, our driver is downstairs and he's about to pick us up. And we are now officially on our way to Syria. Jesus, pray for us, guys. Catch you soon. On a side note here, guys, if you are thinking of going to Syria. It's a very much um, cash society and if you have a look at this, it feels like I've been on a bit of a cash heist. So we got our money chains in Lebanon. Uh, we got our Syrian money chains in Lebanon because you get a better rate in Lebanon than you do in Syria. So this is 200 US dollars worth. The amount of it. Look at the thick walls of cash. Like, it's crazy. That's the thing with Lebanon Syria guys, you just have to bring cash. It's hardly anybody brings card or uses or ex hardly anybody accepts card. So I don't feel very comfortable bringing all that cash around. So yeah, I'm not, I'm no choice. Anyway, catch you downstairs. Chill, what are we doing? What are we actually doing? No, we're going to Syria. We're going to Syria. We're trying it out anyway, we're gonna get where he come this far, like, you know? I know we're fucking two tools, but sure what? It's only because we heard a lot of shit, didn't it? From all the locals and stuff. They say Damascus, no bother. Mm -hmm. But we are genuinely... I wasn't worried before, and I'm not just bumming it up for this vlog. No. But we are genuinely concerned now about Aleppo. We've got to just ask a driver. We're gonna talk to this driver now, say the crap is. Yes. 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 Assalamu alaikum. Are, are you good, my man? Hi. Cool. Hi. Hi, how are you? What's your name? Ahmed. Mohammed? Ahmed. Ahmed. Julia. No, no problem, no problem. Don't worry. Five dollar. <laughs> we'll ask him in the car. Look, um, you know what calls are Yeah. Well, lots of people last night, you know, in the bar said, what are you doing? Don't go, no, no. no, no, no what nothing, what nothing, do you no. say? No, no, no. Yes, 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 yes. They, they say Damascus is tourists, okay, but... The tourists, they will kidnap you. No, 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 no. There's they, nothing there. They why say, would they say why that? Why do they say this? Just to, uh, like, people make... Like to talk. Yeah, well, we've got a little bit frightened last night, you know? Okay. They say Damascus, no problem, but, but Aleppo, but, do not go Aleppo. Yeah, uh, maybe for, for Aleppo, don't go because uh, there's uh, a <coughs> The what, sorry? Um, the, the earthquake. earthquake yes. Yeah. What do you think? There's aftershocks, like more earthquake, like yes, a little bit of maybe. Uh, maybe. No one uh, no. You don't know, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm not too worried about the after uh, the earthquake. It's not just more. Well, I don't know. Anything? <laughs> ISIS or something? <laughs> ISIS are still active there, or maybe. Maybe. 
Great. Let's just do one step at a time, Damascus. So we're okay with Damascus, yeah? Yes, Damascus is very okay. safe. Okay. Okay, shukran. Welcome. Do you uh, copy the passport? What, do we haven't a copy? No yes. copy. I've got it. You don't do you want a photo? Uh, photo, uh, photo well, we put it in the photo, photograph? The copy for the no photocopy? No photo at all. Do we, no, we didn't. Remake. We're told that. Yes, they needed the, in the Syrian border. Oh. Okay. No copy, just real. Yes, uh, I will copy it for you. Okay, shukran, okay. shukran. Mm -hmm. So that's us guys, picked up and ready to go to Syria. <laughs> Apparently it takes one and a half hours. Here we go, one and a half hours to the Syrian border. And then once you get there, you actually switch drivers. So we'll get some of these Syrian dude on the other end. And then off to Damascus, Damascus. Here we go. Yeah, we, we, were, we came on Sunday, I don't know when did we come? Monday? This is what, Wednesday? Yeah. yeah two days in Beirut. Two days Beirut. Okay. Mm -hmm. Four days, sorry. Yeah. Then back to Lebanon for one day. Yeah. From where are you? Ireland. 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 Yeah. Do you know Belfast? Mm. No. You heard of Belfast? Dublin. Do you know Dublin? No. No. Europe. Yeah. <laughs> well, he knows Ireland. Yeah. Medieval Joystan and Syria, look at that big lad. Sweet lord. <laughs> so how are we feeling? I feel fine about going. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. Okay. What about you? I gotta build it up for the vlog and say. <laughs> I'm shagging right up, man. <laughs> no, it was more the fact, um, it's more the fact about the people that said yes, really. You um, just get mixed. Uh, Messages. Mixed messages. And um, you know, the driver here said, you know, look, people just like to talk. People just like to talk, yeah. Dramatize things, you know. But, but it was more um it was the amount say maybe ninety percent said Damascus is fine, but nearly like ninety-five percent said do not go to a level. Do not go to a level. So even we met we met a local Syrian woman on the plane. Can't she said Damascus is fine. Not a lab also. I don't know. But then what does she know? She, she, she lives in the Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah. Do you know what? I'm actually feeling fine. I thought I would have been a bit more anxious in this. I thought I had. I thought I would have had a wee bit of anxiety in the belly. I've got hiccups here. But I'm actually alright. Just can't see when we get there. It's too late now, and we just got to roll. We are on route, away from the route, to the Damascus. See. What is life like in Lebanon? Do you like it? Before, yes. Nowadays, it's so difficult. Yeah. Is it just things it's more expensive now? Is more expensive. It? A lot of problems. Uh, everything is closed uh, from the from our uh, country, like. Uh, for like this, my uh, driving license, it's a... Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's out of date? Yes, and there's and no one... you can't renew it? Yes. Ah, why? why? Because uh, all of them are closed. Oh my God, why? They're like government, uh, the government, government um, institutions, aren't they? Yes. A government... Oh, but I wonder why. Why the banks are closed? We heard as well. What, uh, what banks is going are on? open no days. From two days only, they are open the banks. Is that's all. Yes. So why do you think the government buildings are all closed? Oh, I don't know. Hmm. Wow, man. So that's... what do you do then? Like no one cares then if no your license is. No one cares. Anything goes in Lebanon. Do you think that's a Everything good thing or a bad thing? If anyone just uh, tell me why uh, all the government is closed, I'm not responsible. <coughs> yeah. It's not. It's not my uh, concern. Problem, yeah, yes. it's not your problem. Mm. Wow. And everything is cash society. No, 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 no one takes cards. No one. No one. Yeah. Yeah. Strange. As a tourist, you have to bring all the money with you. You can't do anything. You can't yes, take. You, you can't take money, money out of the bank. Yes. No. You can't take money from the bank. Yeah. Only in Lebanese bank. 
the best deal. And it's a bad rate? Yeah, it's bad. Yeah, black market is best. What? Eighty, The black market? E yes. Uh, 80,000 yeah. for one US dollar? No, today, is, uh, today it's about 78, maybe. 78, yeah, okay. In Ireland, when we came here, uh, we got 14,000. 14,000. In Ireland. Oh. Really bad yeah, rate. Yeah, really bad rate. Yeah. Why are you taking from? Uh... We didn't know. We took a, we took some, you know. Because, oh. because we arrive at night time, <coughs> and no, everywhere, some money. everywhere is closed, so we didn't have money. But uh, who no. came you from the airport to the hotel? Yeah. Which uh, the taxi or you know someone? Yeah. Um, Booking.com. Booking.com. Oh, the driver from the hotel. Uh, no, on uh, Booking.com uh, uh, website. Web yes. We yes. You get a, a taxi driver. Yes. Yeah, to a hotel. At the, at the hotel, and you. Uh, About. Pay we paid for it online before. Pa oh, online. Yes, online. online. Okay. Fourteen, fourteen dollars. Okay. Something like this. Yeah. And uh, do you go on taxi in Lebanon? No, we walked everywhere. Walk oh, everywhere, walk yeah. Everywhere. <laughs> yeah, yes. walk everywhere. <laughs> Our feet are very sore. <laughs> so how long has it been like this? In Lebanon? You? When does it start changing? Things start changing? Oh, from uh, about three years. Maybe. Three years, okay. 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 From COVID? <laughs> yes, before COVID. Before COVID, yeah. What was it like in Lebanon during COVID? Did people um, follow the rules, masks and yes. vaccines? They closed, they closed, the control, closed everything. Yes. Vaccination? Yes. Three, three months, no one can go out from him. House. That's right, that was Except the same. if you had uh, a ticket, uh, you are going outside to the airport. Oh, like yeah. only And the hospital, and yeah. the pharmacy, and the <laughs> doctors only. That was it? Mm -hmm. yes. What happens if you go out and you don't have the piece of paper? They uh, make uh, for you uh, a, a fine. Punish, yes, a fine. Punish. Oh. Can you believe Lebanon has snow, guys? Well, neither did I. Here we go. Snow good. <laughs> How far is Lebanese border to the Syrian border? 12 minutes. 12 minutes, 10 minutes. No, in between the borders, I mean? Yes, between the borders. Oh, sorry, okay. So who owns the land in between then? No. No one? Is that like no man's land? The single Georgia Ross. No, do you? Yes. The, who died between the yes. two borders? Oh! Yes. When he died? They were Syrian, saying he was Syrian Lebanese. Border. Uh, it's not for us. <laughs> Lebanese, uh, not for us. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. Nobody wants him. <laughs> so guys, we are roughly about 10 minutes away from the Syrian border. Starting to feel a little bit mm, uneasy, but just gotta see what happens. How are you feeling? I'm fine. <laughs> I'm kicking a brick. I don't know. Not that bad. See what happens, catches at the border. So here we are on approach to the Lebanese side of the border. So there's a Lebanese side, then there's like a, a part in between, like a no man's land, then there's our inside. And this is the Lebanese border. Yeah. Don't know how much I can video here, but let's go. So, yeah, we're about to get our stamp here from the Lebanese side, and I better put the camera down and we have got through, so pretty, only the Lebanese bit, got through the Lebanese bit, pretty smooth process, uh, so smooth that I didn't have to do anything, our driver did all the work. to the, the Syrian side of the border. Here we go. What are we doing here? What are we doing? We are in between the Lebanese and Syrian border. Like, what the actual fryer talk? <laughs> what are we doing? Live on the edge. <laughs> Why do we spend all this money? We could have been sip, sipping Mai Tais on a fucking beach for this. But no, we decided to come to Lebanon and fucking Syria. <laughs> Can write this shit. <laughs> in their right mind. <laughs> we'll pay for this. I love a wee Mai Tai. the border 
years there's like a no man's land nobody owns it Lebanon doesn't own it Syria doesn't own it all right when Nobody good things it. happen, they both claim it. When bad things happen, it's like, not my problem. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do with me. You died here? Yes, no, no, I will tell you that. Oh. Okay. At this point. You see it? Oh, with the car? Oh. No, 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 no. Okay. Just here? Right. At this point. Okay, yeah. He hit you. Oh, he hit that? Yes. Oh, oh my man. God. Bloody hell. George the Grass. Yes. But nobody took any responsibility. Yeah. And not the Lebanese or Syrian government uh, make this one the road here and the, and the flashlight. Uh, do you know Majid al Rumi? Lebanese singer or also. Majid al Rumi. No. Also no. a Lebanese singer. Oh, I see. But oh, she okay. Made, she made this. Oh, okay. Not uh, anyone else hit. The oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh my god, we're here guys, look at this. Oh my god. No way. Now, now, this is something I thought I would never see in my lifetime. Look at this bad boy here. Here we are. Welcome to Syria. Absolutely crazy. Can you believe that? Mental. So that's us guys, we are officially now in Syria. Oh. Your ID, then yes. you get it on the way back. Yes, I'm going to work. Waiting at the Syrian border checkpoint. I think it's taken longer than it's taken longer than I would have expected. I don't know what sort of checks are running, but let's see. Guys, we are in. We are now officially in Syria. We have crossed the official border. It took about 45 minutes, not too long of a process. And we have switched drivers. We now have a Syrian driver. <laughs> What's your name? Yasser. Asir. Asir. Lovely man. Nice Syrian hospitality. And we are officially in. And he's going to bring us to Damascus. Look at this. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Syria, here we come, you. Did you leave Syria or did you stay here? I stay here. You stayed, stayed here? Stayed here? Yeah. What, did you feel, what was it safe to stay, you know? You know, I think Damascus, there was nothing. There was nothing, right, okay. Around the, Damascus, yes, there were some adults. Yeah. Sometimes they shot some missiles on, on Damascus. Okay. Uh -huh. That's all. But you were happy to stay here, you didn't want to leave. No. My life is here, my job is here. That's it? Yeah. I'm not so, so, so young to, to move somewhere. Yeah, you are. <laughs> to move to Europe, to, yeah. to start a new life, you need to be uh, at least at no more than 30 or 40 years old. Yeah. So I'm old, older that. people stayed, generally. Um, <laughs> more younger, you're, you younger know, people you know, left. I'm not saying you're old, but you know, younger people. <laughs> Younger people left, is that right? Exactly. Mm. So we have nothing to worry about? Sure. I yeah, I think it's okay. Be sure that everywhere is really safe. Yeah. You know, our guests have made tours. They went to Aleppo, Latakia, Palmyra, Bosra, yeah. all over Syria. Just, you know, now we have two just small areas. Yes. The northeast, where the Americans are supporting the Kurds. Okay. Right. And stealing our goods. Really? I heard this. I heard the Americans are looking after the oil or something. Exactly. The they oil. are stealing the, our oil. My God. It's not there. They are stealing our, our oil, our gas, our wheat. What the hell, man? And also a small uh, part at the north. West in Idlib, you have heard about Idlib. Yes. Where the Turkish are yes. supporting the rebels, the terrorists. But everywhere is calm. I ISIS are still active somewhere? Yes, the Americans have left 
some some small uh, troops in the desert. Yeah. Okay. They are supporting them by everything: logistics, foods, guns, right. arm, arms, arms. Americans are supporting them. Since right? the beginning, it's well known that ISIS was Jesus. supported since I, the yeah, beginning. I, ISIS, since the beginning, it is well known that Americans supported ISIS and Americans have uh, moved the leader, the Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, who is yeah. the leader, have, when, when Raqqa was surrounded by the Syrian army, the Americans too, took all the leaders of ISIS away by the helicopter to somewhere unknown world place but mm. they say that he is killed but in reality but probably not he's protected for sure not mm. yeah got the camera down for the checkpoint <laughs> wow man crazy crazy i don't know what's crazy man why, why, why do you think that Syria, there was a war here. What's your yeah? What's your you know the war in Syria has two parts. Yeah, what political part. Yeah, political part because you know Syria up till now is the lonely country. Yeah, who alone. says no to America and I Israel. Was, I yes, read about that. because up till now Syria do not accept. Yeah, They're nor the government and... nor the people. To normalize with Israel. Yeah. Yeah. That's the political part. Yeah. They own, they own land in Golan Heights. Yes. Yeah, they own land in Syria, right? In Israel. Israel have, uh, took the Golan Heights from Syria. Yeah. It is Syria. And the economical part. Uh -huh. Syria is a very, very rich country. Yes. Yeah. Syria is richer than Saudi Arabia or any really? Wow. But that's because why the Americans are here. Yeah, yeah, because you know Syria is very rich in petroleum, gas, silicon, yeah. uh, phosphate, cotton, olives, gold. Gold, Syria wow. Is very, very rich. So, so did the Russians come in to help Syria, Russia, when they Russia, came here? You know, Russia, Russia looks after their benefit. Yeah. Up till now. Now, the lonely country with the Russians have bases and good connection is Syria. Yeah. So they, they, if, if Russians lose Syria, that means they, they, lo they lose all the Mediterranean. Yeah. Okay. Uh, wow. If they, if they lose Syria, they lose the Mediterranean, the whole of the Mediterranean. Yeah. You know, the, the economical, the third economical part is that, you know, there was a project. Gulf and Americans and Israel are working on, on to let the Gulf gas from Saudi Arabia, Qatar, uh, Gulf countries. Mm -hmm. To pass through from from Gulf countries to Europe, okay. which is against Russia, because you know Russia is a, the most important supplier of gas to Europe. Yeah. So to make to make this project work, this project they need to to let the pipes pass through Syria right we didn't ab ab accept that okay that's why all Gulf was against us wow so many players in this war yeah so in many. Syria the rebels ISIS the government Israel Russia yeah. America Britain Britain bombed it as well 
everywhere. Yeah. So many players. All Europe, all Europe countries. Yeah, so bad. And the majority of the Syrian people don't want this. They don't care about uh, about Syrian people. Nobody cares about that. They say that we are we are here to help the Syrian people to make freedom of the Syrian people, to make democracy of the Syrian people, the Syrian people, but in reality, they are against. Jeez. You know, they apply, the Americans apply the sanctions. Yeah. Oh, Those, really? Yeah. Sanctions. They wow. Make, uh, you, For you no know, reason. You have, you, I don't know if you have heard about Caesar Law, which no. is applied four years ago. It makes... Syrian people life very tough. Wow, man. And it's just really cruel. Really cruel. And they say that we are for the Syrian to help the Syrian people. Yeah, right. No way, man. Lebanon, Lebanon was a part of Syria. Yes. Yes, that's just, right. Just in the last decade. Lebanon has become separated uh -huh. after the colonization of the French. Was it called a, a different country or something? Was it called something else? Sorry? When you were all one, did it have a name? Or were we all just still Le Lebanon, Syria, Jordan? There is, actually, time. there is about 10 million immigrants who left Syria. Yeah. 10 million? So, wow. Mm, so every everyone has left Syria mm -hmm. after this time. For sure, he has arranged himself. He arranged a life for himself in Europe in or wherever country. he is. Yes, that's right. So now, now in Syria, we are in shortage of in a lot of things. Yeah. We are in shortage in fuel, in electricity, yeah. in food, in gas. In, we are in shortage of a lot of things. Yeah. So, who has arranged a life for him in the where he is? Will, will not think about coming back unless it's the situation of Syria yeah. is become better. Mm -hmm. It is normal. If I'm if I have my job somewhere, mm -hmm. if I'm leaving good somewhere else, so I will never think about coming back to. A, to my country, even to my country, where there is a lot of things Not lost. Wrong. Yeah. lost. Mm -hmm. Wow. Sweet Lord. We are in Damascus. Hi, hello. Salam alaikum. Alaikum salam. Bashar Jurekos. Bashar. Paul. Lovely to meet Paul. you. Julian. Bashar Julian. Julian. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. This is interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Everything looks safe. What, safe. what am I worrying about? Everybody says. What am I don't worrying go. about? Don't go. This <laughs> should be in this oh. one there. This one. Oh, they must have opened up the bags then. Oh. And this one. Well, I put Very it cool. I like yeah. it. <laughs> Put 
Ruti. We're approached our wee hotel now. Here we go. Is this it? Huh? Is this it? Yeah. Oh my god. What the hell? Here we go. What do you see? I recognise these streets from the vlog. I recognise these streets. They must all put them in the same place, Jill. Where and under God are we going? Okay. This is like the old town, yeah? Yeah, the old town. Uh -huh. Are you, you are, sorry, are you from Damascus? I'm originally are you? from Latakia, coastal area, but I grew up, I recently. I grew up in the I say, I say. <laughs> Are you the driver as well to Homs and Aleppo and stuff? Yeah, we'll probably do Everything? The yeah, okay. Yeah. If you're not fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm, I mind. Is there a choice? I mind. <laughs> can we change? <laughs> I can crack that one. Oh, did you? I'm absolutely useless. <laughs> can we cut that out of the vlog? <laughs> this is the first time. Oh, we're not in the hotel. Oh, not Mamluka. Babtuma. Babtuma, okay. Babtuma Hotel, here we go. Yeah, hello, how are you? Hello. You okay? Sorry. Good. Do you know? Uh, thank you. Do you know it's going to be like this? Uh, yeah, these baths and all, Joe. Yes, a marble now. Look at that. Is it worse or not? Not you expect it, Joe? Not one bit. I'm no. Just like, I'm just taking it all in. Amazing. So beautiful. Here we go. Look at this here. It's gonna be noisy here, Jill. Look at this. Never seen anything like it. Is this a Surrey expected, guys? Oh, it's beautiful. Look at that. Stone base now. I've struck that. I need one of them. Wow. Nice, huh? Yeah. Wow, look at the bed, the bottoms of the bed, they That corner, bloody hell. Oh, Yours truly. Nice. So that is us in our hotel now, so we got here in one piece. What a crazy little journey that was, but much easier than I expected. So probably just going to end the video here. But if you wanted to make that trip, um, you can't go alone. You need to go with a tour guide. We went with a company called Against the Compass. Um, I'll put the details below. I'm not affiliated with them, but they seem so far so good. So they get you across the border. They answer all the questions for you, do all the paperwork, everything. All you, bring, all you need to do is bring your passports. Um, so the price for that, you need to bring US dollars with you. Um, so for an Irish passport, which is mine, it's 75 US dollars at the time. And for my sister, it's a British passport. It's 140 US dollars. And if you're American, don't bother coming because you'll not get in. <laughs> you'll not get in. I'm going to leave the video here, guys. And I'll make another one when we're out exploring Damascus. Damascus. Here we go. So stay tuned for the next one. It's going to be crazy. That Damascus looked absolutely crazy. Stay tuned for it. Slam.